Hello everyone, this video is in continuation to our videos in genetics, for genetics sorry, uh, grade 10th ICSC. Uh, so we'll, in this video we will be talking about sex linked inheritance, we will talk about the uh, crosses, the main cross, we will talk about the X linked inherited diseases, Y linked inherited diseases and then we will also see the various um, categories which are covered under these crosses. So please keep watching till the last. So without wasting time, let's just start. First of all, sex linked inheritance before we start this we must be aware about the sex chromosomes so when i say sex chromosomes it's x and x in case of females and it is x and y in case of males fine so a general cross when a female chromosome is crossed with a male chromosome. Now, when I say X and X and X and Y, I'm talking about ova in this case and I say sperm in this case. Fine. So, when the fusion takes place and suppose we are now, we are just talking about a general cross to determine. Now, how does this question come? That why do you think that there is 50-50% possibility of, um, uh, you know, a female giving birth to a male and a female child? So, we can prove by this. Yafir, if the question says that, why do you say that only males are responsible for the sex of the child? This also can be proved with this cross. Let's see the cross first. If a female is crossed with a male, so what happens? Female chromosomes on one side, male chromosomes on the another side and let's see what do we get. So this is the result which we get. Now two things which I said, two ways in which this question is asked that first why 50-50 chances are there. So you can make this cross and then write that as you can see that 50% of the offsprings produced are females and 50% of the offsprings produced are males. Hence, there are 50-50 chances of a female giving birth to male child and the female child. Now the second scenario wherein it is said that why do you think that males are responsible for the sex of the child? So what do you do? You make this cross and then how do we write this? We'll write that as you can see that wherever the Y chromosome from the father's side has crossed with the X chromosome with the mother's side, it has given rise to a male child. And for that matter, females do not have a Y chromosome. Hence, they cannot provide with Y chromosome to the male child. That is why the females in uh, Indian uh, society, females are, uh, you know, they are blamed for not giving rise to uh, male child. So this question is asked. So you need to write the answer like this. That's as you can see in the cross that the wherever Y chromosome has fused with the X chromosome, it has given rise to a male child. So that means Y chromosome is the determining factor and the females, they do not have the Y chromosome. That is why because of the lack of Y chromosome, they are not responsible for the um, appearance of the male child. Now, this is a general cross as in a cross wherein we see that how or what result do we get when a, um, you know, this uh, fusion of male and female uh, chromosomes or you can say sperm and ova takes place. How is the result formed? Now, we want to understand what is sex linked inheritance. Now, I've told you what are sex chromosomes. Let's see what is sex linked inheritance. I'm just writing it here. So, when I say sex linked inheritance, what does it mean? That whatever disease which is caused when the factor leading to disease is present on either X or Y chromosome that is the sex chromosome. If you simple si language to explain karna hai. So a sex linked inheritance uh, or a sex linked inherited disease is a disease. Now first of all sex linked inheritance, sex linked inheritance matlab kuch bhi aisa characteristic trait jo sirf sex chromosomes ke presence se I is known as sex linked trait. But when I say sex linked disease which we have in our syllabus so diseases which are caused by when the factor leading to that disease is present 
on either X chromosome or Y chromosome. We call it a sex linked disease. So when we talk about sex linked disease, of course, there are two chromosomes X and Y. So there'll be X linked disorders and there'll be Y linked disorders. So there are two types of disorders, X linked disorders and Y linked disorders. I'll give you the examples first and then we will see the cross. So when I say X linked disorder, the example is hemophilia and color blindness. I'll discuss. Then when I say Y-linked disorder or disease, uh, if I don't want to use disease, the term disease here, I'll say disorders. So when I say Y-linked disorders, it is pattern baldness in case of males and hyper trichosis <clears throat> that is having hair in the ears that is also a Y-linked disorder. Let's talk about them one by one and see how they are represented or how do we see them. Let's see. First of all, we'll talk about the X-linked disorders. Let's demarcate them. Okay. So let's talk about X-linked disorders. Now, when I say X-linked, that means the factor which is leading to formation or occurrence of this disease is present on X chromosome. Let's see how. Suppose a female is crossed with a male. Fine. And suppose here we are talking about hemophilia. Fine. So herein, if I say X-linked disorder, the factor which is leading to hemophilia is only present on X chromosome. Either it can be here or it can be here. Now there are certain conditions. Let's talk about the conditions first so that you have a clarity about it. The conditions are, let's see, the conditions are 1, 2, and this condition. As, as in, either we have this factor I'll use the other color. Either we have this factor which is causing hemophilia on both the chromosome of a female or this factor can be present on one chromosome of the female. Yeah, fir, it can be present on one X of the male because it is only present in X. So we have only these three scenarios whenever there is when whenever we talk about X linked diseases. So when the factor for causing the X linked disorder is present on both the X chromosomes of a female, it is a diseased female. When the factor which is causing hemophilia is present only in, on one X chromosome, it is known as a carrier female. Now, what is a carrier female? It's a new term. Carrier female is the one which has the factor but is not hemophilic. Uske andar factor present hai jo hemophilia cause karta hai, lekin usko hemophilia hai nahi. So, that is a carrier. Carrying the factor but cannot is not caused in it. Now, when we talk about a male, male has only one X chromosome. Fine. So, because of the presence of only one X chromosome, male is always a deceased male. So, here pe a very important question is asked that why males are more prone for having X-linked disorders. So, the answer would be that the males have only one X chromosome. Now, isko hum aise correlate kar sakte hai, that females, we, we have a carrier female, no? We have a female wherein one X has the factor and another does not have. Is case mein kya hota hai? This has the factor but this does not have. So, the, fact, the X chromosome which is not having the factor will mask the effect of another X chromosome. Matlab, <coughs> jis X ke upar factor present nahi hai, that X is going to mask, as in cover the effect of the diseased X. So kya hota hai? Wo result show nahi kar paata. But in case of Y chromosome, oh, sorry, in case of males, yaha pe to we don't have another X. So this Y cannot mask the effect of X. That is why males are always diseased, but the females having factor on one X chromosome are just the carriers. Yaha pe bhi, Question kya ho sakta hai ki yaha pe bhi to ek x ke upar factor hai, yaha pe bhi ek x ke upar factor hai. So ye carrier kyu hai aur ye diseased kyu hai? So the reason is that herein the factor is present on one x but the other x is masking it. Wo uske effect ko show nahi honne de ra. But the other one wherein there, it's a diseased male, what happens there? 
there is no other X chromosome to mask the effect. That's why the males are always diseased. That is why it is very commonly said that males are more prone. Yahan pe, this occurs commonly in males. So with diseases, hemophilia, color blindness, they are more common in males, not in females. Of course, they are in, they are in females, but females can maximally be carriers. Let's see a cross related to X-linked disorder, which we were talking about. Suppose it's hemophilia again. So when I say now there can be, if they have three, if we have three conditions, there can be three crosses. Let's talk about them. So the first cross is when a diseased female is crossed with a normal male. Normal male. Matlab usko hemophilia nahi hai. Let's see. What is the result? Aise ye question poochte hai. That uh, make a cross to explain that what happens when a diseased female is crossed with a normal male or a carrier female is crossed with a diseased male or a carrier female is crossed with a normal male or a diseased female is crossed with a diseased male. So, these are certain conditions. Let's see. Sabhi mein cross ek tara banega. Jaha jaha factor present hai, vaha pe hamara offsprings will change. So, let's write the female chromosomes on one side, male chromosomes on another side. What do we get? This is the result which we are going to get. Fine. So, what do you get here? Let's see. We have one carrier female, another carrier female, this, this is a carrier, this is a carrier, but we have two diseased males. Two diseased males. So what is the result? When a diseased female and a normal male is crossed, what do we get? We get two carrier females. We get two diseased males. So this is the result. Let's see another cross for your understanding. Suppose I say that a carrier female is crossed with a normal male maybe. Fine. So let's see. We write chromosomes for a carrier on one side, males on another side. Let's see what do we get. Here. Okay. So what do we get here? We have one normal female, one normal male, one carrier female and another diseased male. Why diseased? Because the males... They show the effect always. So what do we get here? One carrier female and here we get one diseased male. Now I'll give you a homework as in you do this cross on your own. What Find the result. Find the result when a normal female is crossed with a diseased male. This is first question. Second, you find the result when a carrier female is crossed with a diseased male. Let's see. Fine. So you do these two questions and see the results and you can write the answers in the comment. What results did you get? Fine. So herein, this was all about X-linked inheritance. Yaha pe hemophilia ke chagha, they can give you color blindness also. Then also, that is why I've given a zero here. I have not, kai books mein aise likha hoga. Yaha pe zero ki jagha likha hoga H. Yasir, if they are talking about color blindness, yaha pe H ki jagha, they would have written C. So that is up to you. I have written a zero because I am talking generally about X-linked disorders. Fine. So if they speak about hemophilia, H, uh, color blindness, C, even if you don't want to write H or C, you can mark it with a zero. That represents a factor. Now we are going to talk about X-linked disorders. Now, Agar aapko abhi tak samaj aa gaya hai what we are talking about. So it would be very clear to you. Sorry. We have already discussed X, Y linked. So aapko bohat clearly samaj aa gaya hoga that this X linked disorder is only present in males because the females they do not have a Y chromosome. So this Y linked disorder will only be present in males. That is why it's not a disease. It's certain disorders present in males or you can say certain characteristic features of the males. Let's see uh, the two which we have. That is pattern, pattern baldness and hyper trichosis. 
ना पैटर्न बाल्डनेस मतलब यू मस्ट हैव सीन मेल्स जहां जिनको बाल्डनेस होती है एज इन दे आर बॉल्ड बट कोई यहां से बाल्ड है कोई इधर साइड से उनके बाल नहीं होते कहीं के सिर्फ ऊपर से बाल नहीं सो दैट इज पैटर्न बाल्डनेस विच इज ओनली सीन इन मेल्स बिकॉज द फैक्टर विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर पैटर्न बाल्डनेस इज ओनली प्रेजेंट ऑन द वाई क्रोमोजोम दैट्स वाई वी डोंट मेक अ क्रॉस फॉर दिस देर इज नो क्रॉसिंग कोई भी रिजल्ट आएगा उसमें वाई क्रोमोजोम पे फैक्टर प्रेजेंट ही प्रेजेंट है प्लस दिस इज श्योर टू बी पास टू द next generation so hypertrichosis hypertrichosis is where in the males they have hair on the ear bahut common hai ye lalu prasad yadav ka agar aapne picture dekha hai to uske cartoons mein bhi uske kaano pe bade bade baal dikhate hain so that is um, hypertrichosis wherein they have hair on the uh, ear so this is also a condition which is only found wherein the factor for these are present only in the y chromosome so in this video we've all covered about sex linked inheritance we have discussed what is sex linked inheritance we have discussed the general cross sex linked inheritance the diseases which are caused by x linked and y linked we have discussed x linked this is your homework the two cases and we have discussed the y linked diseases as well in our next video we'll we'll talk about a very important question that is a mono hybrid cross aur us upcoming video mein we'll talk about dihybrid cross so keep watching liking sharing subscribing thank you